In this lesson, we're going to look at actually calculating capacity. So let's look at this first question here. We have got the capacity of a cuboid. And we're trying to find how much custard you could put inside the cuboid. OK, so we've got 30 centimetres, 10 centimetres and 50 centimetres. So the question that starts saying calculates volume in centimetres cubed. So we just use our normal volume formula for that length times breadth times height. So we'll take this one step at a time. We'll do our normal calculation. So 50 times 10 times 30. And if you're trying to do that without a calculator, just do 5 times 1 times 3, which is 15, and then three zeros at the end. So the answer is 15,000 centimetres cubed. Okay, we're now been asked about how many millilitres of custard will this hold? Well, from the last lesson, we knew that one centimetre cube was the same as one millilitre, so that's easy. That's just 15,000 centimetres cubed is equal to 15,000 millilitres. Finally, what's its capacity in litres? Well, we just did that in the last lesson, so divide by 1,000 and you'll get 15 litres to finish that. OK, I'll just look at a few more examples. So, same idea here. Calculate the volume of this box in centimetres cubed and then write down its capacity. So, if it's asking for capacity, it's looking for a unit of liquid, which is millilitres or litres. If it doesn't specify, just choose the best one. So if it's a small amount, you probably use millilitres. If it gets above a thousand, go into litres. So we'll go for 10 times 5 times 7 to start here. So 10 times 5 times 7. I would do the 5 times 7 is 35. And then times that by 10, you're going to get 350 centimetres cubed. Now, to get its capacity, I need to make sure to change that into millilitres. If you wanted to change it into litres, then decimal point at the end, back three places, one, two, three, so it'd be 0 0.35 litres. Okay, last question we're going to look at here is a question where we have got a box with centimetres here, but we've got metres at the bottom and then centimetres here. So we've got to be really careful here because when you're dealing with calculations in mass, all the units must be exactly the same because that, that can be 0 0.6 centimetres. It wouldn't make sense to that 70 centimetres and that's 0 0.6. So what to do is convert all the measurements into the same units. So 80 centimetres here is fine. 70 centimetres here is fine. We'll convert this into centimetres. Now, there is 100 centimetres in a metre. So you basically want to times this by 100. So move the decimal point forwards one to get six, and then again to get 60. So that's really 60 centimetres, which makes more sense with 70, 60 and 80. So in a calculation, we'll do 80 times 60 times 70. We'll get our answer. That's 336000 centimetres cubed. Just use a calculator for that. It'll be absolutely fine. Or you could set a sum and do 7 sixes or 42 and then times that by 8. You could do it without a calculator, but I don't mind if you use one. Okay, finally, we could change it into millilitres. So it's exactly the same number of millilitres. And with this, because it's so big, I would change it into litres. So divide it by 1,000. It's easy. It's got three zeros in the end. So divide that by 1,000, you'll get 336 litres.